Thank you for tuning in to the best parenting show on the internet. Post Daily Dose. Hey, good morning, team. Welcome to Morning Motivation with Big Papa. It is Whimsical Wednesday. Whimsical Wednesday. We can make Wednesday be whatever we want to be. So I've been seeing some things lately, some postings lately on social media. With people uh, going through some hard times. There's been a lot of a lot of tragedies. There's a lot of stress. You know, the just some families going through some tough stuff. Individuals going through some tough stuff. And then there's some people doing great stuff. Having, you know, just going through life and having a good time. And the truth of the matter is, that's just life. Life is a series of ups and downs. It's a series of peaks and valleys. And we all love when we're on the peak. I mean, we all love being up on top and feeling good and rocking and rolling and everything flowing and moving right and being, being energized people around you being on fire and energized and most of the time we do not like it when we're in the valley and we're struggling and life sucks and so when we're in the valley we get really down and then when we're on the, when we're on the top of the mountain we're really up and it's just like this this uh, series of, of ups and downs and the thing is at some point, you have to realize it's all just life. It's all just living. And if you look at if you look at it as growth, if you're if one of your your driving motivations, since this is morning motivation, if one of your driving motivations in life is to just grow and to just be your best possible self then you don't look at it so much as peaks and valleys. You look at it as opportunities for learning. You look at it as opportunities for growth. That when we're struggling, when we're struggling emotionally, when we're struggling physically, when we're, when we're struggling spiritually, that is the best opportunity to take personal inventory and to, hey, good, good morning, Channy. <laughs> hey, there's Channy. That is the best time to take personal inventory of your life and just to be able to say, look, there's something, there's something greater coming. And this, this period of struggle, this valley that I'm in, this is preparation. This is preparation for the next stage. And when you start looking at, at your struggles when you start taking personal inventory during the times you struggle, during the times when you feel feel like life is 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 like not in your favor, and you start looking that you you start looking at that like it is it is an opportunity for you to to stretch. It is an opportunity for you to grow. It's an opportunity for you to learn. It's an opportunity for you to prepare then it's, it doesn't have to be the same struggle anymore. And I've, I've been talking to you guys, you know, since I've been doing this about me and my, my need to be patient, practicing patience as a virtue. I just talked about that the other day. When you can find patience in the struggle, when you can find patience in the pain, when you can find patience, hey, good morning, Heidi. When you can find patience with the, with the pain, Knowing that you are actually getting prepared for something bigger, for something more significant, for something deeper, 
then it's it's no it's no longer life is no longer the same challenge. It doesn't have to be the same struggle. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be pain. You don't have to get depressed anymore. When you realize that what you're moving towards, like there's something greater coming, and I think a lot of times we start taking personal inventory and we we're struggling. It's because we don't we don't have any goals. We like we're not we don't know what we're working for anymore. Like you don't know what what you're getting up for in the morning. And so when you start to take that personal inventory, you start to look around you. You start to say, hey, you know what? Maybe I'm not living. Maybe I'm not living to my highest my highest capability. Maybe I've gotten too comfortable. Maybe the reason I'm feeling bored. Maybe the reason I'm feeling depressed or sad is because I don't have any goals. I don't have anything motivating me. Life is is just becoming the same thing over and over and over again. And you know what? It doesn't have to be. You have the ability to break out of that. That's right. Anne says it doesn't have to be the same struggle. It doesn't have to be the same struggle. You, You have the ability to create whatever it is that you want, but you have to realize that whatever it is that you're asking for, to achieve it, you're gonna have to become a different person. And so if you've been asking for some things in your life, and this is, you know, you could be saying, you could be saying at an unconscious level, like you you could have this this going, this this, uh, running, theme in your head, this message that says, you know what, I just, I want to, I want to, I want to be more happy. I want to focus on being more happy. And you can start saying that. And you know what might happen? You might become more depressed. It's like you might wake up and feel like you have less energy. Like you're just, then you start, might start eating junk, but then you've been saying, I want to be happier. But then you, you, it's like, as soon as you say, I want to be happy, you start to go through this valley. And then you go into the valley, and you're like, oh, see, I'll never be happy. Well, what if you're, you're calling for happiness, but in order to get to the happiness, you have to reorganize who you are. It's like your brain has to restructure. And science, science is, I think I talked to you guys about this. Science has demonstrated that anytime there's a problem, that we create a problem on, a, on an unconscious level, or like, like there's this challenge, we see this challenge, our neural circuitry starts to reorganize to come up with a solution. Isn't that cool? But I think the problem is, hey, Irene, I think the problem is we don't realize that it oftentimes takes struggle and pain and discomfort to get to that next level. And so when the pain and the struggle and the discomfort shows up, we're like, oh gosh, this is horrible. I'm never going to, I'm never going to, so I'm never going to achieve what it is I want. And then we start having all this doubt and this negativity. And then we start to get, we start to keep ourselves stuck without realizing that this is a part of it. This is a part of the process. And I think that that's probably it. When you're taking personal inventory, ask yourself, what is it that you what is it that you really want? What are the things that you've really set out for yourself and and are they big enough to motivate you to do something different? Are they big enough, you know, are your goals maybe you don't have any goals at all. Maybe you need to come up with some dang goals. But you also have to realize that it's going to require you to go through a valley because you've got to reorganize. You've got to restructure. Your brain's got to form some, some new neural pathways in order to become the person to hit the new goal. So whatever it is that you set for yourself, it's, it's not going to just manifest overnight because you have to become the person to be able to step into that goal. And so when you're struggling and you're feeling down, 
and feeling like maybe life's maybe life's working against you, I want you to think about this. Maybe life is working for you. Maybe that struggle and that feeling down is exactly what you've been calling into your life because you are wanting something different. Maybe. All right. You guys rock. Have an awesome, awesome Whimsical Wednesday. Make it what you want it to be. And don't let it be anything other than that. Even if it requires a struggle. Big Papa loves you. We'll see you in the morning.